family blocks. <laughs> Poor little fox is all alone. <laughs> it's so hard being me. Hi, I'm Dan Q, and this is my review of Godzilla Huntley's family vlog, episode 11. Fully the first half of this week's family vlog is spent watching Godzilla fail to leave her bedroom. No. 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 It turns out that she has some form of undiagnosed social anxiety disorder. Later, when she finally does leave the house, she requires rescue by her sister Sarah at a nearby supermarket. Sometimes I struggle with the concept of being alive and a person. Like sometimes that was this case the days. first five days of this week, Sunday to Thursday. And I got a phone call from someone hiding behind leggings in Asda. For those of you who play along with the drinking rules, there's not much to get your teeth into at this episode. As an alternative, you might like to drink every time that somebody says the word no, or for the moment that Sarah is racist. I'm gonna go, have some rice! There it is. Sarah agrees with Godzilla that her boyfriend is the rapiest person on the planet. He looks like the rapiest person <laughs> on the planet, he can't have a man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you and the concept of you having a van. What? Oh yeah. Ring, ring <laughs> a highlight of this week's episode is the house naming ceremony. Zara's still sick, so she's uh, joining the family vlog by uh, loudspeaker on my shitty mobile phone. Well, now that we're landed gentry mm -hmm. and, and have more than one official residence, we've decided to name them. Since the death of Godzilla's father, her mother now owns two houses and feels this makes her upper class. Like the Queen. I suppose in Preston, it probably does. You'll curtsy when you're coming in future, young lady. Yeah, you'll be made to wipe your feet and everything. The thing that distinguishes the houses of landed gentry and the commoners is whether or not you have to wipe your feet. Godzilla raises some interesting questions about the drinking rules. Do we have to drink as we go along? Given that one of the drinking rules is that you must drink when a member of the family drinks. Yes, I've left a bottle of lemon chill in car. I don't think it's advisable for the family to drink as they go along. Otherwise, one gets caught in a YouTube-powered alcohol death spiral. YouTube-powered alcohol death spiral. That would be a great band name. The family provide three word reviews of Riddick. Just as expected. Sarah? Get balls deep. <laughs> Mum? Oh, I'm very entertaining sci-fi. Unless you're the Siffy channel, sci-fi is a hyphenated form of science fiction. That's two words. I think if you're familiar with the Riddick franchise and you know exactly what you're going to see, you yeah, will find it entertaining. Godzilla seems to have acquired a GoPro. Why well, can't I get a sentence out without you interrupting me? The GoPro is capable of higher resolution filming and in order to keep parity, I've had to upgrade my filming equipment too. What? What? Godzilla and Sarah play the traditional family game of knifey knifey. Knifey 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 knife fights. The principle is that if you're stabbed to death, you lose. <laughs> In this week's episode, I was pleased to see that the adorable little chickens have grown. Altogether, I give this episode three no's. No, no, no. Once upon a time, there was a big fox and a little fox, and they went on a big adventure. Caesar, quick, you're missing the adventure. Oh, okay, I'm coming. It's coming, Auntie Sarah. Big fox and little fox went on a big adventure. Yeah. Find Caesar. Oh, he's here. Can you see him on the camera? Yes. We found Caesar on the adventure. Oh no! Caesar the giant and he's got my mummy. 